Seattle Smith Cove is home to fishing vessels, cruise ships, cargo traffic, and now tons of oyster shells, plus eelgrass and kelp put in place by the Port of Seattle. It's really important here in Puget Sound because as our water chemistry changes related to changing climate, the Puget Sound in particular is quite vulnerable to what's called ocean acidification. Today, researchers with the port and its partners began measuring how the oyster shells have been growing, gathering data to examine ways to trap carbon, reduce ocean acidification, and improve water quality. We've learned a lot over the past few years about uh, an enhancement and restoration of, of these types of these ecosystems. A lot of people know healthy forests store carbon in tree leaves and branches. Scientists call that green carbon. NOAA says blue carbon is the same idea in the ocean. Eelgrass is known to capture carbon, so the port worked to restore eelgrass beds. Kelp is also believed to absorb it, so they tried planting more of it here. And oysters are filter feeders, contributing to blue carbon infrastructure. It could tell us that, you know, there are ways that potentially on a, on a localized level that we could potentially buffer some of these effects of ocean acidification. While individual restoration projects wouldn't change ocean chemistry as a whole, there are hopes techniques could be used in other bodies of water to create refuges for marine life throughout Puget Sound. In Seattle, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.